Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the entire championship this year. This year, So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. And this episode is all about what I think the French team is going to be to play Ireland this coming Friday, 2nd of February, in the opening game of the 2024 Six Nations. It's being played down in Marseille at the Orange Velodrome, an unbelievable stadium. France typically play well down in Marseille. So what team do we think they're going to pick? Start off, though, let's have a little squad update. And it has been, frankly, all over the place with the French squad. They have had players coming in and out through injury. They have some kind of professional game agreement where they release six players from the squad to play this previous weekend and then draw some more players in as well. So there's been a lot of coming and going in the French squad over the last week um, or so. So injuries, Anthony Jelanche out injured. He was replaced by Alexander Ruma, who has then since been replaced by Lenny Nucci. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, the big man, well, one of the very big men anyway, Emmanuel Mayafu out as well. Uh, leaving a big hole in the French squad. But, oh, uh, wait, hang on a second. They've just got Paul Valencia, who's uh, no no shrinking violet himself, just to step in. So nothing lost there, really. Melvin Jaminet injured, uh, replaced by Leo Barry. And I think, I think Pasolo Tuolaghi is actually now part of the wider squad as well. Uh, one of the bigger Tuolaghis, which says something indeed. Now, I think that's where the squad is. I haven't seen a full updated list, but I, I think that's pretty much it. In terms of the style of play, I think we are going to see a continuation from where France were, last Six Nations, the World Cup, playing some frankly beautiful rugby. And the squad is much the same, obviously missing Antoine Dupont, which is a big loss, no doubt. He was outstanding this week, just gone for Toulouse bagging a try at Racing and making three tackles in a row. I mean, literally, tackle a player, that guy offloaded it. He tackled the next player, that guy offloaded it. He tackled the next player as well. So, best player in the world. He's going to be a big loss for France. And will it affect their style of play? Because so much comes off of him. So much comes off of his movement and how he draws defenders and attracts defenders. Will they be able to play the same way? We'll find out. So, Let's get into it and we'll start with the forwards and uh, let's take a look at the forwards that I think are nailed on for their starting positions. Uh, Cyril Bailly and Winnie Antonio are just the best props in France. It's definitely going to be starting along with the back row of Cross, Olivon and Aldry. Very well established, their outstanding unit. In terms of where I've got question marks, I've got question marks at Hooker. So France have got two exceptional hookers in Malvaca and Marchand. I questioned last week whether Malvaca might start. And having said that his um, set-piece work was outstanding, he missed his first two throws last weekend, so or the previous weekend, I should say. So who knows? Maybe they'll go with Marchand. In the second row, they've got a whole load of, load of options. They've got Belemsa, Tafanua, Woki, Gabrilag. So there's, there's a lot of choices there. And I think it's probably going to be Quite close, um, so time will tell. But here's what I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm going to go with Malvaca. I think at his best, he just makes France play, he makes him tick, he keeps the ball alive, and he's just gets so many involvements in the game. Belemsa, all the experience, a big, tight headlock, and I think we're just missing a few other players. It might be quite important. Gabrielag is a name which actually I wasn't familiar with, but I think he's got 16 caps of France. Uh, it must have been just off the bench and things like that over the last few years. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm not, but uh, he seems to be favourite to start in the number five jersey. OK, let's go on to the backs now. And again, we will start with the people who I think are nailed on. To start, uh, Matteo Jalibert at 10 is, as far as I'm concerned, equally as good as Untermach and possibly better, even if everything else is being equal. Dante and Fiku, very established centre partnership. It's got absolutely everything. 
Pano, possibly the best right winger in the world, and Thomas Ramos, who's been playing a fair bit of 10 at the moment, but also an incredible fullback with great kicking skills and running skills as well. So I think all those guys are nailed on. Now then, at scrum half, the choices between Luku, who did a great job in the World Cup, and is Jalibert's halfback partner at Bordeaux, or Lagaric from Racing. And Lagaric's been playing great. He's scored a lot of tries. Um, but I think, well, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. The other big question mark is on the left wing with uh, Lekeep in Paris, thinking, they think Moethana might start on the on the wing ahead of Biel Bieri, which would be huge because Biel Bieri has been outstanding, a huge young talent, 20 years old. He played in all the World Cup games. Um, Moethana, normally a centre, but he has played six games on the wing for France, so it's not unknown for him to play on the wing. And I think I'm going to go with the information. The keeper's uh, not often wrong. I'm going to go with Luku. Uh, half-back partners with Jalabert, as I said, from Bordeaux. So that's a good combination. And he, uh, yeah, he did a great job deputising for DuPont in the World Cup. And that leaves the Garrick to come on, maybe when there's a little bit more space around as an inexperienced player, but as an absolute live wire. And I think maybe they just want the solidity of Moafana on the wing. And again, later in the game, Biel Bieri can come on when the game's a little bit looser which leaves the bench of Marchand, Wardy and Aldegheri, who are two incredibly solid props, very strong scrummages, the pair of them. Just, a, you know, another huge second row in Tafanua. Uh Waki, who's an outstanding player, can play in many different positions across the back five of the scrum and a push even out on the wing. Uh, Boudinin, Lugarek and Biel Barry, as I said before, 6-2 split. Uh, and that's what I'm going for. But what do you think at home? Where do you think Fabien Gautier is going to push his chips this week in the opening game against Ireland, which I think most people agree could end up being the one that uh, decides the entire championship. These two teams are the best two teams. And I think that'll that'll bear out as the championship goes on. Do you think I'll pick the right team, you know, with a bit of information from Le Keep, or... Do you think there are going to be different people playing? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment below. And most of all, who do you think is going to win? Do you think this French team are going to win at home in Marseille against Ireland and send them on the way to a Grand Slam? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll join you for a conversation down there. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all future episodes. And most importantly, get out and play.